We are going to have a look in this lesson at positive number lines, which are number lines for numbers greater than zero. We are going to look at how to use them when adding and subtracting numbers. We need to remember that all positive numbers have a plus sign in front of them, but in most cases we leave the plus sign out. Notice that the numbers get bigger as we go up the number line. Let's start by marking the number 3 on this number line. And now let's try to add 4 to this number. You can see the calculation on the right. So we place 3 on the number line as we did before. We now want to add another 4 apples to this pile. For every apple that is added to our pile, the pile moves up the number line by 1. The overall effect of adding 4 is to move 4 to the right, giving us the answer 7. So, 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. Now let's look at a subtraction sum. Here we are going to subtract 5 from 8. We start off by putting 8 apples on the number line. Then, we want to subtract 5 apples from this pile. Each time we subtract 1 apple, we move 1 to the left. The overall effect of subtracting or taking away 5 from 8 is to move 5 to the left, giving us the answer 3. So, 8 subtract 5 is equal to 3. We may want to carry out a string of additions or subtractions. How does the number line show us what to do? Here the calculation required is 12, take away 3, add 9. We start at 12, then move 3 to the left because we are subtracting 3, then we move 9 to the right. We get the answer 18. You may have noticed that the overall effect is to move 6 to the right. Could this be done in a different order? If we start at 12 again, but move 9 to the right before moving 3 to the left, we once again finish at 18. This calculation could then be done in either order. We can do 12 subtract 3 plus 9 is equal to 18 or 12 plus 9 subtract 3 is equal to 18. Let's look at a different example with larger numbers where we have had to extend the number line. Our calculation is 60 subtract 30 plus 20. Let's start at 60 and take away 30 to give us 30. Then add 20 to give an answer of 50. Now, let's try this calculation in a different order. Starting back at 60, let's first add 20, then subtract 30 to give us an answer of 50. In both cases, we find that the answer is 50. 60 subtract 30 plus 20 is equal to 50 and 60 plus 20 subtract 30 is equal to 50. The order in which we do the operations doesn't matter. We shall now show that there will be occasions when one way may be easier than the other. Let's look at the calculation 123 subtract 45 plus 27. Let's start at 123 and take away 45 to give 78. We then add 27 to give the answer 105. If we try a different order by starting back at 123 and first adding 27 this is a much easier calculation, giving us 150. From here we then take away 45 
Again, this is easy, giving us 105 as the answer. Of course, the answer will be the same whichever way we choose to go. 123 subtract 45 plus 27 is equal to 105 and 123 plus 27 subtract 45 is equal to 105. But in this case 123 plus 27 subtract 45 is a lot easier to do.